So here we have another uh, perennial grassy weed that's common in Oklahoma. This here is Dallas grass. And here we see the uh, typical seed head of Dallas grass. And uh, this area has been mowed frequently, so you see how Dallas grass has kind of adapted, uh, has this prostrate growth adapted to low mowing. If you don't mow it, it, it can get pretty tall on you. Uh, the reason this one is so tough is, is uh, it's a very hardy uh, perennial grass. We'll survive the winters and come back, live as a perennial in Oklahoma. And so when, our, when we put out our pre-emergent applications, it doesn't do a whole lot to uh, stop the plants that are already living. And with Dallas grass, um, we don't have a, a lot of good options. And in the past, we've talked about just coming out and spot spraying with a non-selective herbicide such as uh, glyphosate or Roundup. Uh, the best time to do that is actually late in the year um, when, when things start to slow down. So probably we're talking about mid-August to late August would be the time to do that. Now, more recently, there is a, uh, a pro product that was developed and has pretty good activity on Dallas grass. However, it's not easily accessible by homeowners. It's something you'd have to uh, hire a professional uh, to apply for you or to look at. Depending on your specific situation, you may not even be able to use it. So that product is called Tribute Total, and it is um, it does have a high premium on it. It does have a high cost to it, but that same type of timing, mid to late August, come spray Dallas grass with Tribute Total will do a pretty good job. But it's not something that you can just spray once and it's going to take it out. It's probably going to be repeated applications probably over two or three years to help get control of Dallas grass in your lawn.